Hello YouTube and welcome to your 21st Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 Express tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to be covering classes. Now what a class is, is it's a big block of code that can hold a bunch of functions for you that you can use outside of that class. Now you may be wondering why you'd want to do this. Well if you're making a very large program you don't want everything to be in one class because that'll just make it hard to find stuff and you won't really know what's going on. Um, classes were made so that you could organize your code and um, create objects that's why it's called object oriented programming so that you don't have to write the same code over and over again and you can use um, polymorphism and other stuff like that uh, when you're writing your programs so um, let's go ahead and we're gonna come up here and we're gonna start off by, by creating a class now to create a class you start off with the keyword class and then you just state a name for your class so I'll just call this one my class create your curly braces and then just add a semicolon after that that lets the uh, that lets the IDE know that your class is over or else you'll get an error if you don't have that in there so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a public set of functions now what public means is that anybody outside of this class can access those functions um, so let's do public and down underneath here we're going to create our public functions you can also create private functions but those can only be accessed by my class nobody outside of it can access that now you may be thinking why would I want to make private if nobody else outside can access that well sometimes when you're creating a class you're going to have functions in there that are public that are going to use other functions in there but those functions need to be private because if the user was going to try to use a private function they wouldn't get anywhere with it so um, you have public and private. Now if you don't understand that, uh, I get it, I'm not very good at explaining that part. But you can also have public variables and private variables. So let's go ahead and create a public function that we're going to use in our main. So we'll do void say hello and inside of say hello we'll just see out hello YouTube. Okay, so now we've created a class and we've called it my class and we added one public function to it that's called say hello and it just see outs hello YouTube. So we're gonna come down here into the main and we're gonna start by creating an object of my class. Now to use an, a class outside of what your uh, main is, you're gonna have to create an object of that so that the compiler knows what you're wanting to do. Um, and when, when you create an object of it, it lets you access all the variables in there and all of the functions unless they're private. And you can create several different objects of the same class. And they each, let's say one object, you change the public variables in that class, it's going to change for that object. But if you create an, another object of that class, it's going to give you a new slate and um, you'll be able to change them uh, to different things. So you'll have multiple instances of that object well, not of that object, of that class, but they're each different. So, let's go ahead and create an object. You start off by specifying what kind of object you want it to be. So, ours is going to be my class. And then we'll just call our object Hello Printer. Now what we're going to do is we are going to call the Say Hello function from my class. Now to do this, we use our object that we created. So we click... Cre <clears throat> sorry we created a my class object and we called it hello printer now we have access to this public function right here called say hello so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do hello printer dot and you can see here the IntelliSense shows up and it shows our function that we have created in that class and it says that it's public it's void it's from my class and it's the function say hello and it shows you what file it's from which is very useful so we'll just do say hello and now if we come up here and run this program it'll say hello YouTube so go ahead and look at this code create a couple classes of your own and then once you understand it uh, then go ahead and move on to the next tutorial uh, this is a little this concept is a little hard to grasp if you're first learning uh, if this is your first language but um, 
Just give it a shot, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe.